Alright everybody, how are we, what is going on and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm coming to you as a rugby player, sitting here in Australia, from New Zealand. Absolutely love rugby, I love everything about it. I don't follow it as much as I probably used to, but, you know, at the end of the day, a rugby nut is a rugby nut, just like a football nut is a football nut. And if you follow football religiously from age 5 to 15, doesn't matter if you're 25, 35, 45 or 55 you won't have forgotten what you learnt. And that's how I feel about rugby. Today, we're going to crack back into the reactions. It's Christmas Day, believe it or not. I've got my little tree over there with a few presents waiting for my daughters to come around. But before they do, I'm going to get some of these videos out of the way. And we're going to crack into it with none other than the Beast, Saquon Barkley. What actually is his nickname? He should be called the Beast. He really should. He's, he's six foot one, he's 230. He's, uh, you know, a 4-4 flat, 40-yard dash, 40-inch vertical jump, fucking 11-foot broad jump. He is an absolute 495 fucking power clean. Probably like a 400-pound bench press for reps. I mean, this guy is an athletic specimen, and he's only at the very beginning of his career. And I feel so blessed and so lucky and so excited to watch him over the next few years. Build up to his peak, his peak as a running back and you know become a hall of fame running back i believe that's going to happen i believe we've got i believe we've got at least three running backs in the moment that will become hall of fame running backs and they're my favorite ones to watch and they are in no particular order saquon barkley christian mccaffrey and leonard fournette there are plenty of other good ones i mean derrick henry is very interesting the fact that he's like six foot three i love seeing him play you've also got alvin kamara who's absolutely killing it you've got josh jacobs who i like don't make me rack my brain now, but today, today's not about any of those, it's about Saquon Barkley, and he is probably the top rated running back at the moment. So, we are going to look at a few videos today, but the first thing we're going to do is check out Wikipedia. I want to see how his season has gone. I believe he's had an injury, an ankle injury, which he was out for a fair few weeks, but all I've been able to find on YouTube is his highlights for week one, week two, uh, he scores a touchdown in his return from injury and he has his first 100 yard game since week number two. So I've got four videos of his highlights this year to watch and we're going to get into that. But first, let's check Wikipedia. Okay. I'm hoping he got a thousand yards this year, but I'm not sure. I'm hoping. So let's find out. He is 22, he's just a fucking baby, and there's a fly in here. It's going to really annoy me. Uh, 233 pounds, went pick number two in the 2018 draft. After a successful rookie campaign, Barkley was ranked number 16 on the top 100 players of 2019. Yes, he was. Barkley was chosen by his teammates as one of the seven team captains for the 2019 season. An honour rarely bestowed on players after only one year on the team. In week one against the Cowboys, he rushed 11 times for 120 yards, including a 59-yard run. In this game, he fumbled the ball for the first time in his career, which is crazy because he played all 16 games the year before and never fumbled at once. In week two against the Bills, he rushed 18 times for 107 yards and a touchdown and also caught three passes for 28 yards in the 28-14 loss. In week three against the Buccaneers, he suffered a high ankle sprain and was expected to miss four to eight weeks. He made his return in week seven against the Cardinals. Yep, Saquon Barkley scores one touchdown in return from injury, so he must have scored a touchdown. In the game, Barkley rushed 18 times for 72 yards and a touchdown. In week eight against the Lions, he rushed a season high 19 times for 64 yards, which is very interesting because that's not a hell of a lot of yards per carry. In fact, I'd love to see what those rushes were like because the defense must have really stepped up and caught a season high eight passes for 79 yards and a touchdown. In week 15 against the Dolphins, he rushed 24 times for 112 yards and two touchdowns, caught four passes for 31 yards. In week 16, he rushed for a career high 189 yards on 22 carries and caught four passes for 90 yards and two total touchdowns. Holy shit! Career high rushing, we've got to have a look. Okay, this is what we want. Saquon Barkley's monster game, two touchdowns and all highlights. How yeah. Actually, that's probably not the best one. I, I think we should have a look at the, the NFL touchdowns. Even though... 
I think we should have a look at the NFL footage, even though it's not going to be monetized. Unfortunately. Okay, so we got Barkley against the Cowboys, week number one. Barkley against the Bills, week number two. Barkley comes back from injury, week number seven, against the Cardinals. Barkley in week number 14 or 15 against Miami. And Barkley in week number 16 against the Redskins. We haven't got the statistics in for the full year yet. So that's, okay, so mm, last year he got 1,300 yards. How many yards has he got this year? I love me some stats, you guys know that. He's played 12 games this season, he must have missed four. 200 attempts, 911 yards, no! No! He didn't make a thousand yards. I'm gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. Oh well, it's okay. Five touchdowns, longest run of 67 yards. Well, you know, he played 12 games, what do you expect? If he had played 16 games, he definitely would have got a thousand yards. Let's give it to him anyway. Okay guys, first video of the day. Let me cast your minds back, if you will, to September 8th, 2019. Cast your minds back, if you will, to 1972 or thereabouts and spot the tune. Barkley versus the Cowboys. That ties a record previously held by John Elway and Dan Marino. He joins that group. There's more to Fakes it. Here's one dropped off for Barkley. And he fumbled it. Oh, fumbled it. I was going to say, how did... There's more to that story. Okay. Okay, I don't really, I don't quite get this. I don't... So Barkley, Barkley breaks through. Okay, but which lineman brushes off his defender and starts running down the field as his blocker? It's 71. Are they allowed to do that? I didn't know that linemen were allowed to travel down the, the field like that. It worked, but he fumbled it. Straight on the helmet. Here on his first touch, gets it knocked out by Xavier Woods. Oh, yeah, on the very first play from scrimmage for the Giants' offense. Can't do much about that, man. That's having a full full-sized helmet come through your grip, rather than just a hand or a few fingers or a fist. It's going to pop the ball out. Unfortunate, mate. Possibly pretty crazy. He's been so good, but Xavier Woods. Third year safety comes up and See, and I'm coming into these games not having watched anything of this season, and it's like, uh, what have I been doing? He just puts his helmet right on the football. It's fortunate that Eli Penny was there to jump on it. First career fumble in 353 touches. Imagine how he felt. Or is this? This is the play straight after. Okay, let's see how he responds. Watch this. Second down and one, right? Oh, that's how you respond, motherfucker. See ya. See ya. See ya. Ah. Oh. Fucking oath. Good shit, bruh. Yeah. But that's exactly what this kid does. You're gonna see Evan Ingram and then Cody Latimer. They're the ones who are able to seal it and create the lane. And, and this young guy does not need much. I mean, he is an explosive back. You look back to last year. Hell yeah, he probably should have um, put the ball in the other hand and tried to stiff arm. But at the end of the day, you don't want to fumble it. He's just made his first fumble and he goes and has a 50-yard run. I mean, that's. I, I knew it was gonna happen. I, I could have predicted it. And lo and behold, the same drive, first drive of the game. We're here, second and six, ten yards out. What are you going to do? Bounce out. Oh, oh, took him down. First drive of the game still. Actually, I just saw Leonard Fournette do a nice counter, exactly like that, and really bang his foot in. It was very effective, but that one wasn't. Let's watch it again. Bang! See, he bet the first defender. If he had have just pinned his ears back and gone right for the corner, right for the pylon, he probably would have got there. Yeah, 
Solder had a tough year last year. He should be improved. So here's Barkley. Stay on your feet. He stays on his feet so well. It was Anthony Brown who came up to try to bring down Saquon Barkley, and in that mission, he failed. And honestly, I'll tell you, Saquon Barkley's legs don't look ridiculously huge, right? But they are. <laughs> nice catch. It's a defense that is awfully good. They can sure use it. Barkley, Jalen Smith, first to lay hands on him. Golden Tate is out. Barkley's only run it five times now. Six. Yeah! And he's got a first down just outside the 10. I like this commentator. I really do. Those guys so explosive between the tackles and then with the speed that he possesses, his ability to catch the football. You know, last year when we had a Giants game... I like all of the commentators, actually. I'm trying to rack my brain as to what's who's my favorite, but I couldn't say. Pat Shermer said, hey, he's a generational talent. And that's exactly what he said again to us. I'm sure he says it to every crew that's calling their games. And he really is. I and mean, he's, he's a special, special player. Everyone, everyone really knew that coming in last year. That he was something special. But no one knew whether he was going to be able to continue his college form into the NFL. And, and lo and behold, he had 353 touches for, for 1,300 yards and uh, no fumbles. Here he is to the 10. And the other part of it is he's 22 years old. He was voted a captain by his teammates. You can't fool the locker room. Nah, in, you can't. It's really paid off. It's interesting. Get him rolling. Get him rolling, mate. That's what I'm talking about. You're 28-10 down. Get him the ball. There he is. Oh! Fuck, I was going to say, if you catch that, you... Uh, that's going to be the... He was going to catch that at complete full pace. But he didn't see it. Why not? Bruh, why aren't you... Why aren't you looking, man? That seems strange. was expecting it much further down the field and, and if that and it would have been very very effective if it had been further down the field too because the foot race that's probably one that Barkley wins if, if Eli holds this no helmet necessary for a catch counter beautiful keep going wow. yeah wow all right yeah. <laughs> let's see that let's see that again go down but his forward progress was stopped I want to see that. How close did he get to the ground, man? Nice counter, though, isn't it? I love that move. I really do. And I love it ever since I saw Christian Wade get given the ball in that preseason game for the Buffalo Bills. And he did not do a proper counter. Bang! So he beats him. He could easily get past this guy. This, guy, this fella is coming across to, to, to make this block on him. So Barkley could have bounced out to the right. This fella would have probably got taken. This guy probably would have got taken if, if the wide receiver does his job. And this fella, Van der Esch, I, I think it's Van der Esch, is going to come through and try and take him out. No helmet necessary for the catch. Okay. Okay, so, so this guy didn't actually block this man. He was meant to. Pretty amazing how he didn't go down though. Wow. And then he just keeps running, man. Fucking hell, there's enough force in there to start ripping one of these jerseys. Are you kidding? Like, how does that even happen? Did something cut that or has someone just grabbed it with a superhuman like strength? Doesn't go down, but his forward progress was stopped. Oh, I love that run. Reminds me of Adrian Peterson mixed with Leonard Fournette. Little spin on the end. Beautiful. There he is. Oh! See, it'd have to be. He'd have to be. He'd have to be upset with that. That's two drops now. And that is the point. That I'm very excited when I see someone like Barkley, especially, do that swing route and get the ball with open space. Because honestly, it's like an artist with a blank canvas. 
He plays what's in front of him, and that is the most exciting thing. Because I can tell you what, he had to grab that ball on the burst. There is no way that this defender is stopping him. Not a chance. So he gets it there, comes up to the 20, sticks his left foot in, beats him, sticks his right foot in, beats him, and then he's off. <laughs> Well, that was a hard catch. <laughs> Fuck, so was that. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe Eli Manning should, should uh, get out there on the training pitch with Barkley, just those two, and just go pass after pass after pass after pass after pass. They probably do already, don't they? Of course they do. If Barkley's out there, if he's the captain of the offense, he's going to make that happen. But even still, some of these passes are just... Ooh, I mean, that's, that's, that's like a beautiful rugby pass. Right out in front, making sure the man runs onto the ball. The ball's not behind you. You don't have to stop and start again. That is actually a beautiful pass. He runs onto that with the most pace possible. Let's see what happens next. Flag is down. Up not much. You know, it's a bit. <laughs> That's a bullet pass. He's only about 10 yards away. What are you trying to do to him? He fumbled again. So, what's that? That is a draw play. Is that right? Because it looks like a pass, and then at the last minute, Barkley gets the run. More on the defensive side of the ball, it just looks like it has a lot of ball. I love the draw play. I do. Go, Barkley! I love the counter, and I love, and I love the draw, i got to say. But that was video number one for the day. All right, second video, second Saquon video is going to be against the Bills, plus a look at his injury, which was in week number three. Following that, our third video is going to be his return from injury, scoring one touchdown, and then having his first 100-yard game since week number two. Following that, we're going to have our last video of the day, which is going to be his highlights versus the Redskins. And we'll probably include something else as well. So stay tuned, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, if you do like Saquon Barkley, if you like my content, hit that fucking like button. And that's all i got to say. Merry Christmas, everyone. Peace out. Your style, put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I run the world, I'd run the mile The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it Like me, wow Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding man, yeah, 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 yeah I've been, I've been working to the morning, yeah, yeah. They've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah, yeah. And I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Boom, boom, tell him I'm my lane. I've been praying, yeah, yeah. Gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me.